Uh, this is Mike's uh, wheelchair. He arrived to our workshop uh, to make an upgrade to his uh, suspension. What we did is we uh, accepted a kit included those brackets and the shocks. We replaced uh, the brackets and mounted the shocks, cut the unnecessary uh, brackets, two brackets that were here, the aluminum brackets, and uh, to, uh, to, to make it possible for the, for the shock to, uh, to, to have some travel. And uh, we balanced the wheelchair, toe in, toe out. Um, we put originally uh, 50 uh, psi pressure inside the shock. Tried the wheelchair, the shocks wouldn't move more than uh, three or four millimeters. It was very, very stiff. Uh, we took all the air out from the shock with zero psi. Still the same problem, uh, nothing worked. The shock had no travel, only three or four millimeters. Um, Mike took it to, uh, to the, uh, this, what's the name? Exfusion dealer in Israel. He did some work inside the shocks. I don't know what exactly he did, but when we uh, received the wheelchair back after he was uh, at his workshop, one uh, shock was shorter than the other, about five millimeters shorter. Uh, I pumped, uh, increased the air pressure in, in the shock, increased it to 100 psi, and the shock opened. Both shocks opened uh, all the way, and uh, now. There is 150 psi uh, air pressure inside them. We'll take a try and, and see if, uh, if, the, if the shock works. Okay. Now you can see in this side the rubber uh, didn't uh, move at all. This side he moved only a millimeter and a half, two millimeter uh, probably. Now we'll try to reduce the uh, air pressure to uh, uh, 50 psi. 30. 30? Okay, we'll make it 30 psi and uh, try the weird uh, shocks again. We'll take the rubbers, the O rings down here. And here, just to see how much it's, it traveled, and make the same test again. Now we can see it. You can see here about uh, two millimeter same movement, thing. same thing. Let's see the other side. Well, here we have some more travel, about eight millimeters.
Okay, now we'll make uh, one more test. We will, we will take uh, all pressure out. Okay, take the O-rings down and try it one more time. We have more travel here, like one centimeter, 10 millimeters. And here we have only like two and a half, three millimeters. So. No. Okay, here we are again after the zero PSI uh, uh, test. And the shock that seemed to travel less, uh, as shown before, is now uh, shorter than uh, than the other shock. We have like 30 millimeters here, and the other side has 42 millimeters. So we can see again that in zero psi the travel is a little bit uh, better but the right uh, shock wouldn't uh, uh, extend back. So we're go what we're going to do is to uh, put uh, 100 PSI uh, again in both of them, and that's it.